Welcome back to another episode of Baking with Lexi. Do you remember as a kid eating those Little Debbie oatmeal cream pies and how good they tasted? Well, today I'm gonna teach you how you can make your very own at home. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Do you ever get donuts on the weekend and maybe you don't eat all of them right away and then they turn hard and nobody really wants to eat a hard donut? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can take those day-old donuts or day-old cinnamon rolls and turn them into an oatmeal cream pie. The first thing we're gonna do is break up our donuts. So I just have some cake donuts, just a little bit of glaze on them. I'm just gonna throw them right into my mixing bowl. I'm gonna let the mixer do the work. And now that my donuts are all mixed together, I'm going to put this in a separate bowl and then I'm gonna make our dough. In my KitchenAid mixer with the paddle attachment, I'm going to add in two sticks of butter. And you want this to be room temperature. You want it to be not melted, but you don't want it to be hard or it won't mix in right. To the butter, I'm gonna add two and a fourth cups of packed brown sugar. It's important that you pack it. it makes it look like a little sandcastle. And now we just let that cream to the brown sugar butter mixture. I'm going to add in my eggs with, I have three eggs in my bowl and I have two teaspoons of vanilla. You wanna add it kind of slow so that it incorporates a little bit at a time. In my next bowl, I have one and a half cup of flour and one cup of quick oats. Next, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and two tablespoons of cinnamon. So then we take our crushed up donuts. We're just going to let that in. Now, it's time to bake. I have this little cookie scoop so that I can make them all the same size. Whatever you have, a spoon, your hands, whatever. To keep in mind though, when you are scooping these, they're gonna become a sandwich. So you wanna try and keep them the same size so you can match up two cookies together. A trick I learned when I worked at the bakery is get a little bit of water on your fingers and then you can tap them down. Then your fingers don't stick. I love tricks. We're gonna bake them at 350 for about nine to 11 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. I'm going to be using a cream cheese frosting that I made. Um, I basically just took buttercream, mixed in cream cheese with it, and there you go, cream cheese frosting. Now it's time for the taste test. Here we go. It's perfect. Oatmeal cream pie. Reminds me of my childhood. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Baking with Lexi.